Hello! Today I get to go over this program, Topaz Gigapixel AI, with you. Uh, what this program does is it takes images and it repaints them using artificial intelligence so that it can add more resolution to your files. Uh, this is, uh, I think, a tool that is invaluable for anybody who does any sort of presentation work. Um, uh, as teachers, we will be presenting constantly. And so this is something that can be really, really helpful. So let's just say that I'm working on a presentation about World War I, and I would like to use this World War I poster. Now it looks great on my computer. I pulled this off of a, a website that had, uh, you know, World War I poster reproductions. Um, or scans, I should say. And so this one has obviously had some work done on it. It's a nice image. It's pretty crisp already, but you can see that once you would put it up onto the screen of a classroom, it's going to start to look pretty pixelated. We're going to have some some areas here that are that are pixelated and less um, sharp looking, and that can begin to distract from your actual presentation, which is the last thing you want to happen. So what you can do is you can grab that image drag it into Gigapixel AI and just drop it. Now, a preview screen will pop up and you can click anywhere you like on the screen to see um, what it will look like. And you can um, see already that this is going to make a huge improvement on this image. Um, not every image comes out this nicely, um, but most of them come out very well. Uh, so you can up res by scale, you can, I mean, you can cut it in half if you want, but we're looking at sort of the opposite end of the spectrum here. You can double it, quadruple it, or make it six times the resolution of the original. You can actually go up to 22,000 pixels, which uh, Google told me was 19 feet. I'm not sure if that's quite perfect, uh, but it's very, very, very large. So uh, you can set that up here. You can do it by specific uh, width or height in inches so long as it doesn't go past that 22,000. You can use centimeters or pixels. Again, the 22,000 pixel limit is the limit. Um, six times scale I found is usually more than sufficient for almost anything that I've ever run through it. Um, it the settings on auto obviously work really well. Um, if you turn it on to manual, the only settings are suppress noise and remove blur. And I'll let you figure out how to play around with those. Facial recognition is good for actual photos. Um, it does sometimes overreach with the facial recognition, um, but a lot of the times it really, really helps. So toggling this on and off will automatically change the preview too. So you can see straight away if it's something that is going to be useful for the image that you're working with. Then you can choose where to save it to. You can choose whether it uh, adds a prefix or suffix to the image name, the file name that you're, you're choosing. And then what's really neat here is that you can you can leave this at no and do nothing and that's fine. Or you can change it, you can change the file type. So when you up res it, you can convert it to a TIFF file if you'd like, or um, JPEG or PNG. And these uh, are useful for different things if you'd like to. But if you wanna hit the easy button, keep it on auto, keep it on no file conversion, just hit play. And that's absolutely all you have to do. So I'm going to show you uh, how those pictures turned out um, once you put it through the program. This is the original uh, blown up and you can see again the pixelation and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and when you come from the original to the up version, the difference is striking. It, it just is. It recreates texture. It recreates color. It's beautiful. Um, there's all sorts of different applications for this if you have coloring page you wanted to print off um, and it looked like this, it would be really disappointing. Um, but if you have a coloring page and you can put it through this program, then it comes out looking like this. I did nothing except this program between this and this. And um, it, the same thing goes for, I mean, it, it really does do line drawings really well. So this is like how to draw the triheratops. Um, and the difference between before and after the program is enough that makes it worth it uh, to do this extra step so that students can look past the way that you're delivering the content to the content that you're trying to deliver to them. Um, it really does do a fantastic job 
and there's a lot of different ways that it can be used. Um, I have some more examples and some more uses in my blog, and you're more than welcome to check that out.